welcome back to the Heart 5 Question Series. Today we're talking with Dr. Hernan Montenegro, Health Systems Advisor at the World Health Organization. He joined us recently at the Heart Roundtable to talk about strengthening primary health care to improve health system performance. When you look at the landscape uh, at the international level, you see this kind of common challenges emerging in any setting. One has to do from what we call the demand side of, of, of the health system. So changes, for instance, in the demographics, like the aging of the population. So the, the more uh, people you have of age, basically uh, elderly, you have more uh, chronic conditions and you have what's called multi-morbidity. So it becomes much more difficult for the system to respond to those challenges. Um, as, as population uh, ages. Um, also, you can see that the, the, the public's expectations are on the rise. People have more access to information. Um, they know better about systems they can self-inform and they become in general more aware about their rights, so they demand more from the system. So the expectations, sometimes they grow also. It's, it's one of the changes we see around the world. But at the same time, from the, from, the, from the system level, there are new technologies, uh, new knowledge, uh, and all of that becomes available. So the system basically has to constantly be uh, readjusting to make sure that it incorporates that new knowledge into the system. And that means new ways of organizing the, the service delivery, new technologies, new medicines, but being um, aware of how effective they are, for instance. Well, primary care, it's fundamental. It's, it's, it's a strategy that's been proved, um, proven around the world, no matter if it's a highly developed country, middle-income country, low-resource setting, um, the, 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 the approach is highly uh, effective and has in, um, very well-recognized uh, impact, uh, very positive, and this has been measured. There is evidence on this. And what in general does, what we see is that systems that are based on a strong primary care have better population health outcomes, they are more equitable, they're more efficient, and in general you find them to be um, that users are, users are more satisfied, satisfied with the system. having a strong primary care of, of, of high quality, it means that basically when I have an, a problem, I can quickly access uh, this provider. So within, within minutes, within very short time, basically it becomes accessible. So that's one of the key things that happens. People feel that quickly they can interact with the system to try and solve the problem. But it's very important that you have a regular source of care, which means that basically you have somebody, a GP or somebody that's responsible that knows you, and that basically will be the same person and their team that takes care of you. Well, in general, uh, you know, health should be always a priority of, of any any you know country, any government, because it's so important. Um, it's key for development. It's key because it's it's a human right. Um, if you don't have a healthy workforce or population, basically you're going to be less productive. So health in general is high on the agendas. People themselves, you know, they they value having access to health. But it's not only health. Of course, education is important. Infrastructure, roads. So you have to put that in context. But in general. Um, it's highly justifiable to invest in health, and th there are, you know, so there's discussions on in proportion to the year GDP, how much should go to health and the different sources of financing. But in general, it's 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 it's, it's highly important. So within those those levels, um, it is known that when I mentioned that primary care is more efficient, is that you find that countries that have 
strong primary care systems tend to spend less, be less costly and more efficient, meaning that you obtain better results or even the same results for systems that are highly specialized or hospital based, but they don't have the same results. So it's, it, uh, that's why investing in primary care is so important because it's proven to be uh, less expensive um, than systems that are highly curative and hospital based. You need to also measure um, where you are and then try and track your improvements, improvements throughout time. Um, so the way of doing that, if, if I'm at the policy level, I'm going to constantly be monitoring and, and evaluating or assessing the performance of my health system. And there are tools, so, and this depends also on the information systems of the country. You have to have good quality data uh, available uh, all the time in the systems that produce them all the time. And there are different sources of data, uh, administrative, and from administrative systems to uh, a civil register, things, um, things that you do, household survey, uh, and so on. I mean, so you have to combine all of those to get a picture. But then also you have to have strong research groups, uh, budget to do research, evaluations, and so on. So you really study well the situation, and that is used to inform your, 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 your policies.